Hey everyone, so today's video is the introduction to a really exciting little series that I'm going to be starting here on my channel. So I've never done this sort of video before. So basically this is going to be called my makeup chopping block and with this I pick out products from my collection that I feel like I don't really get much use out of but I'm not sure how I feel about it. So. I want to try them out a little bit more before I decide whether I'm going to declutter them or keep them in my collection. So with this series, I'm not sure how often I will do it. Obviously, I'm going to do this intro where I show you the products and then I will do an update where I tell you my results, whether I'm going to declutter it or keep it in my collection. And then after that, I'm not really sure, I guess as I build up products, that I want to test out some more, then I will film another one of these videos. So let's just go ahead and get into the first few products that are gonna be up on the chopping block. So the first product is sort of like a primer. This is the Milani Prep and Brighten Rose Face Oil. So I use this as a primer before my makeup since I do have more dry skin, but I bought this probably three or four years ago and I used to use it pretty consistently when my skin was really really dry in the winter and I didn't have good skincare or any good hydrating primers so this did work for me three years ago but I haven't used it probably in at least two years so I want to try this out some more and I may end up keeping it or decluttering it obviously that's the whole point of the series so I'm just not really sure how I feel about this anymore and if it will actually help with my skin or not the next two products are actually foundations and both of these I'm just not really sure about the first one is the flower beauty light illusion foundation and I know a lot of people love this this, for some reason, just didn't really work on my skin. Obviously, it's a more light coverage foundation, and the way they describe it sounds like it would be my type of foundation, but for me, I feel like it kind of stuck to my dry patches, but it still looks okay on the skin, and I haven't really used this much, so I do want to try this out a little bit more before I decide to actually declutter it. So. I prefer to pan products over decluttering. Obviously, I don't just want to throw out a bunch of makeup just to get my makeup inventory numbers down. But if I really don't like a product, that's when I will end up decluttering it because it's not fun for me to use anymore. So I do also like the fact that this has SPF in it, but I'm going to try this out some more and then we'll see if I can make it work a little bit better for my skin. And then the other foundation is from Wet n Wild. It's the Photo Focus Foundation. And this is pretty light for my skin tone, but I can make it work if I just use bronzer. So the reason I didn't like this, probably because I used too much of it, I did get this a few years ago and I haven't really used it probably in a couple years, which sounds really bad, but I think I just sort of stayed away from it because when I first used it, it was just kind of cakey, but that might've been because I applied too much. And I feel like this is very, very, full coverage and that's just not the type of foundation that I go for anymore. I like a more light coverage foundation so I will try this out some more and see if I can make it work for my skin and if I like the way it looks on my skin even though it is a bit more full coverage. Now I have some cheek products to talk about so the first one is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and with this one I feel like I have enough sort of subtle highlighters in my collection. I also have the Laura Mercier Matte Baked Radiance Highlighter, whatever that's called, and that is pretty similar to this. It's basically just a really natural highlight, so I feel like I don't need both of them in my collection, so I'm going to try this out a little bit more and see how the Laura Mercier one compares because obviously I'm going to keep the Laura Mercier one over this one. But I also feel like I have a lot of finishing powders in my collection and I feel like this is subtle enough to where you could use it as a finishing powder and I just have enough of those like I said so I feel like I may want to declutter this. I just want to try out a little bit more. And then I have another highlighter here. This one is from Becca. It's in the shade Rose Gold and it's just a little mini but I feel like this is pretty dark 
for my skin tone. It's not too dark and I feel like when I apply it, I can maybe get away with it. But I also feel like it's on the verge of being too dark. So I have only used this a few times. So I just want to try it out some more and see if it really is too dark for my skin, especially in the winter when I'm more pale. So I may end up decluttering this just if it's too dark and it makes that shadow on the top of my cheekbones. So I just need to try this out a little bit more. Now I have a blush from Clinique. This is in the shade Melon Pop and I do have four of these including this one and Clinique is not cruelty free so I do kind of want to try to get these out of my collection but obviously I'm not really going to pan any of these or finish them up because that would probably take years and years like the rest of my life maybe. So I want to try to declutter some of these, at least the shades maybe I have similar dupes in my collection to. And this is just a really, really light peach shade. So I feel like it will show up on my skin, but I don't know how obvious it will be. And I do like a pretty intense blush. So I feel like I may end up decluttering this, but I may also like the way it looks on my cheeks a lot. So I'm just not sure about this one. And I did want to try to declutter some of these Clinique blushes. Like I said, they're not cruelty free, but I don't know if I can bring myself to declutter any of them. So I just wanted to try this out a little bit more and really see if I like it that much to keep it. Next, I have some lip products. So the first one is from Ofra. This is in the shade Verona. And this did come in a BoxyCharm. And it is a liquid lipstick. And I tend not to wear liquid lipsticks very often. I prefer glosses or just bullet lipsticks. So this is also a deeper shade. So I don't know if I like the way this looks on me. So I do want to try this out a little bit. And I feel like I have a lot of these more deep brown warm tone liquid lips so i feel like i may end up decluttering this and it is pretty old in my collection so i just want to try it out and see if i actually like the color on my lips and then i have a gloss from wet n wild this one is in the shade chic got real and it's a really pretty pinky gloss and i feel like i don't have any glosses like this in my collection but I don't know if that's because I don't like pinks on my lips and I don't know I feel like this is a more opaque gloss but I feel like you can also sheer it out so I just want to try it out a little bit and see if I actually like the way this looks on my lips. Also Wet n Wild is not cruelty free so that's kind of making me want to declutter it even more but if I do really like it obviously I'm not going to declutter it just to declutter it. And then the last gloss that I have, you might be kind of surprised and don't hate me, but this is from Ofra and it's the collaboration with Samantha March. It's in the shade Millie and this is the gloss they came out with and it's basically just a clear gloss with a bunch of glitter in it. And when I got this, I put it on my lips just with nothing underneath, just on my bare lips. And you can feel the grittiness from the glitter in it. So I really didn't like the way this felt on my lips when I first applied it, but I haven't tried it with a lipstick or with anything underneath. So I do want to try this out a bit more. This is pretty much brand new. I got it pretty recently. So I definitely want to try this out a bit more before I decide to declutter it but I really don't like that gray texture on my lips you can feel it from the glitter in here and I was really really disappointed by that because I had pretty high expectations especially for this collaboration so that's kind of a disappointing one but we'll see what my final opinion ends up being and then I do have one eyeshadow palette I wanted to include. It is the Give It To Me Straight palette from ColourPop. And this has just kind of been sitting in my collection. I don't even know if I've, I've probably used this like once. And it looks pretty much brand new. Like you can tell a couple shades have been dipped into, but not really. And this is probably like the most boring palette I've ever seen. I mean, obviously it's just a neutral palette but it doesn't really, it has like a few mauve colors, which I feel like I already have these types of colors in my collection and then the rest are really just neutrals. So if you take out these more mauve colors, it's really just a neutral palette. So 
I did just want to try this out a little bit more before I decide to declutter it since I haven't really used this one. And this shade right here is one of those mattes just with glitter in it. It's not really a metallic or a matte shade. It's somewhere in between. So I don't really like those shades, but I'm going to try this out and see if I really end up liking it. My thought is that I am going to declutter it. And with a lot of these products, I feel like I may end up decluttering them. Obviously, I basically just want to try them out a little bit more before I make my final decision to declutter them. So with most of these products, I am leaning on the declutter side already, but we'll see what my final results end up being. I'll probably do an update in about a month or two, so stay tuned for that. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I do post new videos about three times a week, so if you want to see more from me, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified every time I post. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.